Hello, Roxana. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Thanks. Let's wait a couple of minutes while the other students uh, come to the class. Okay, teacher. So this is the pre-avanzado module three, correct? Yes, teacher. All right. Um, so do you have access to the platform right now? Uh, I checked in the morning, mm -hmm. but I it didn't appear mm -hmm. my my platform for pre-avanzado module three. Okay. So Not this yet, is, but I don't know. Okay, that's okay. So this is going to be the platform right here. As you can see, uh, we're looking at intro video section one, right? And this is going to be the discussion. Introductory video section one. Okay. So the topic that we're going to be looking at today is called Life's Little Lessons. Repeat after me. Life's Little Lessons. Life's Little Lessons. Life's Little Lessons. Life's Little Lessons. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about lessons you have learned in your life? 
What are oh. some lessons that you have learned in your life? Mm, about subject or about whatever? Life in general. In general. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for example, I read the Bible. I like reading, read, reading Bible. Mm -hmm. And I learn about the doctrine of mm -hmm. the Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And the Bible give, give me, gave me some pieces of advice mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. And also in, at the university, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I learned about subjects, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mathematics, mm -hmm. uh, psychology, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. biology, and others. Okay, perfect, perfect. And um, Katia Monterosa, can you tell me a little bit about life's little lessons that you have learned? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Um, about uh, lessons. Mm -hmm. Life's lessons. Okay. Mm, almost everything I like, but. Um, I like uh, when we talk about the, the, um, the, the um, sick, sick, mm -hmm. no, sick. Mm -hmm. um, when you when we talk about um, um, uh, how we can fix something. Yes. Give advices uh -huh. to other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to travel too. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Katya. Okay. Welcome, everybody. I see that mostly everybody is already here. So we're going to be looking at the first section, which is going to be coming from the platform. Section number one, life's little lessons. Intro video section one. Um, before we get started on the platform, I would like for us to first introduce each other to the class. I want you to say, hello, my name is, I am from, I work as, just general information about yourself, okay? Um, let me have the first person, go ahead, uh, Katya, you can start. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> My name is Katia Monterrosa. Welcome. Thank you. I am a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, what I work what with, subject do you teach? Um, I am teacher uh, for education school, uh, special education. Special education. Okay. Yes. Okay. I work with this uh, disability children. Uh huh. Uh huh. Disability <laughs> children. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, that is in the morning. Mm -hmm, in a, mm -hmm. a special education school and I am the principal uh, but I am teacher too okay oh so you're the principal and the teacher yes. wow yes. big responsibility yes because uh, right now I, I in this time I am taking the children uh, first Great, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. First guy, but mm -hmm. uh, seven years old. Okay. And they are uh, terrible <laughs> <laughs> because I I had to work uh, with the third grade, mm -hmm. but the teacher is um, is sick. Okay. Teacher and and I had to take care of the children. 
Okay, okay. How to play. Wow, wow. For the moment. Mm -hmm. My, and the, the function, I mean, administrative. I don't mean that. Administrative. Administrative. Excellent. Yes. And, and the afternoon, I mm -hmm. work in university, Catholic university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In 23 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I teach the subject, the name, Educación inclusiva, inclusive education. Inclusive education, okay. Education. Uh, only that for now. And okay. I, am, I am studying too. Okay. In this university, I am studying a doctorate in education. Oh, wow. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, do you like English? Uh, <laughs> I have to. Yes, I like, but it's obligation for my career. I have to learn. Okay, so. okay, all right. <laughs> well, I welcome. Like... You can do it. English is easy. <laughs> Thank you, Katya. Nice to meet you, Katya. Thank you. Uh, Zulma Yamilet. Can you introduce yourself to the class, please? Hello, and welcome to everybody. My welcome. name is Sulman Morales. I'm here because I'm, uh, I would like to learn more about English. Right now, I'm work, uh, at the moment, I'm working in a restaurant as an administrative cashier, mm -hmm. but I would like to improve and advance uh, and improve my English and continue and uh, continue learning some things. Uh, right now, I was learning, I was in a university career, but I couldn't continue. Mm -hmm. uh, in the future, I would like to learn another, I would like to start another career in the university, mm -hmm. but right now I, I can't. Okay, and how long have you been working in the restaurant industry? Well, I have around four years ago working in, in restaurant, and I consider that it is incredible because um, you have different experiences and mm -hmm. you can uh, be in contact with different people, mm -hmm. with different kind of people. Mm -hmm. But it's an incredible, it's an incredible experience for me. Okay, and what kind of restaurant do you work in? Um, right now, um, it's on a steak food. Seafood. Steak food. Steak yeah. food, Mexican food. N no, no, it's a, a steakhouse. Ah, okay, food. okay. Like uh, we have different kind of food, but the special specialty of our restaurant is um, meat. Meat, mm, delicious, delicious. You should invite the class to eat in your restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we, we are at San uh -huh. Hey guys, do you like Mexican food? Do you like meat? Do you like meat, guys? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> Everybody likes meat. Welcome, Zulma. Nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you too. Alexander Munoz, can you introduce yourself to the class, please? Okay, hello. Good evening, guys. My name is Alexander Munoz. Um, I am working in a, a, a catering services, multi banquetes. It's about food, mm -hmm. but it's a different kind of food uh, uh, breakfast, lunch, uh, dinner, mm -hmm. because uh, we work. Um, we uh, translate to the uh, place where the people need to uh, a food. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you provide um, food for venues. Yes. What kind exactly. of what kind of venues do you work with? Uh, for example, is a uh, wedding, mm -hmm. weddings or uh, reunions. Mm -hmm. or uh, 
celebration to uh, graduation. Wow. Also, oh, yes. you you cover big events. Yes. Yes. Okay. Of course. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. How long have you been working in the food industry? Uh, ten years ago. Wow. From ten years ago. Yes. 10 years and do you cook or you only transport no yes i manage the interview, interview. Ah. yes oh ah, okay so you manage the operation yes oh nice nice yes. well welcome alexander do you like english uh, yes i like english um uh yeah i like because i would like in the future travel around the world okay and it's for that reason i am learning english right now Excellent. What country do you want to visit? Ooh, I like, for example, uh, the United States, for, of course, but mm -hmm. for example, Italy, mm -hmm. uh, England, mm -hmm. uh, South America, of okay. course, okay. and uh, the Egypt, mm -hmm. um, Korean. Wow. I, I, I like to, I, I would like to visit this, this country. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Well, welcome. Welcome. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Nice uh, to meet you. Sergio Eduardo, can you please introduce yourself to the class? Our teacher, thank you for the opportunity. Okay. Uh, so uh, my name is uh, Sergio Eduardo Herrera. Mm -hmm. um, um, I love English, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, although it's uh, uh, a bit difficult for me. I'm trying to improve my English. Okay. Uh, this is my third um, experience in this platform. Okay. Uh, I work for a, a governmental uh, office. Okay. Uh, okay. In CHET. I'm here. Excuse me. For CHET. No, no, no. Uh, for me, financial uh, office, uh, Ministerio de Hacienda. Oh, okay. IRS. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I am in the budget uh, area. Okay. Uh, so I'm here and I hope to learn uh, more and improve my English, my pronunciation, my listening, my okay. speaking, my fluency. Excellent. Uh, so nice to meet you. How long, how long have you been working in the financial area? Oh, I've uh, worked uh, in financial areas uh, uh, about uh, 15 years ago. I started as an accountant in an industry. Um, and then I, I, I got a place um, um, in, in the governmental area mm -hmm. in, for about... Um, 10 years in at Ministerio de Hacienda. Okay. And so, so until here, until okay. today. Okay. So, awesome. Uh, awesome. That's my, my experience. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome. Welcome. You're at the right place to improve your hey, English. Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Sergio. Thank you for joining us. And hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Hi. Hello. Uh, good evening, can you, everybody. Hello. Good evening, Juan Jose. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the class, please. Okay. Yeah, for everybody, my name is Juan Jose Avalos Campos. I, I live in San Salvador. I, 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 born, I was born in San Salvador, but I live in this moment in San Marcos. Mm -hmm. um, I am a civil engineer and architect too. Mm -hmm. uh, in this moment, uh, for 20, 25 years, mm -hmm. I have worked uh, building, building many, many uh, built uh, houses, buildings, uh, school, uh, many, many kind of built. Uh, in this moment, I work in a university, Francisco Gavidia, mm -hmm. um, teaching. Okay. <laughs> to, okay. um, and I am the manager too from mm -hmm. many career. Okay. Um, 11 career, I administrate 11 career in this moment. Okay. And I like, uh, I like English, English very 
very smart, but I think that is very difficult for me <laughs> uh, because uh, my time for to dedicate to English is very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that sometimes um, when some some people speak very fast, mm -hmm. uh, I feel that I, I lose <laughs> the mm -hmm. sentences, mm -hmm. the meaning of the sentences, I, I lose. Mm -hmm. uh, but I try, I try to, mm -hmm. to improve my English. Um, Sometimes I I feel very very full <laughs> when when I listen to my my daughters speak mm -hmm. English. My three daughters speak English very well. Oh, nice! Um, Excellent. Yes, and <laughs> for me it's very difficult. I remember uh, three years ago I went to Los Angeles and San Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, my second daughter mm -hmm. speak for everybody. Wow. Uh, yeah, oh, cool. For me, it's very difficult. Uh, I remember that when I I traveled to Los Angeles and San Francisco, mm -hmm. uh, and in the middle of the way, mm -hmm. um, the car doesn't work. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. And, um, for our our hours, yeah, mm -hmm. for hours after I uh, arrive and the truck, I don't know, the motor, mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know how to say. You could say tow truck. Tow truck. Okay, arrive and the, the people in this moment is it was um speaking in English, mm -hmm. and I say, do you speak Spanish? Yes, told me. Okay, mm -hmm. entonces hablemos español. <laughs> <laughs> so for me this was very difficult, uh, but I try. Because okay. That, okay. I like. Well, welcome, welcome. It sounds like you are very eager and motivated to learn English. That's good. And don't worry about feeling like you don't understand everything 100% or sometimes you don't uh, say everything exactly 100%. It doesn't matter. The idea is communication and the idea is to be able to express your ideas. So welcome, welcome, Juan Jose. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, let's continue with Mirna Barahona. Hello, how are you? Hello, welcome, welcome. Can you introduce yourself to the class, please? Okay. My name is Mirna Barahona. I'm working in a country public. And I like English, but uh, I need to improve my fluency <laughs> because sometimes <laughs> When I speak with 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 someone, okay. because when when I speak so with someone and sometimes I I don't know what to say, but I uh, I need to improve in different areas of English. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome. How long have you been working as a, a public accountant? Almost 70 years. Oh, nice, nice. And do you work for a company or do you work privately on your own? And uh, um, empresa. How do you say empresa? Company, company. In company. Oh. Okay. okay. Do you like English? Yes, I like so much. <laughs> How long have you been learning English? Almost three years. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, but for periods because I study English in two years and I stop and I continue English two months more and different times. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, welcome, Mirna. Nice to have nice you. To meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, let's continue with Roxana Mendoza. Okay, teacher, I'm here. Hello, okay. everybody. Hello. My name is Roxana Mendoza Valladares, and I live in Chalchuapa. And I am a physiotherapist, mm -hmm. and I worked for 10 years as a physiotherapist, but now I am a merchant. Mm -hmm. And I live because I am my own boss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Yes, I love mm -hmm. uh, learning English mm -hmm. and especially with with Insafor, mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And uh, what else? And I love dancing too in mm -hmm. my free time. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, <laughs> only that. Okay, all right. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you, Roxana. Thank you, teacher. Do you like English? I love learning English. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's the attitude. Welcome. Nice to meet you, Roxana. Nice to meet you, too. Let's continue with Rigoberto Argueta. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Can you introduce yourself to the class, please? Okay, my name is Rigoberto Arqueta. I'm currently a student for Universidad Tecnológica. My career is bachelor's degree in English language. Wow. Um, currently, I'm just a student, but I'm here because I'm going to get a better work. I don't know, a call center maybe. It's, mm -hmm. I guess it's good to start and to get the experience. Mm, one more. <laughs> oh, so you want ah. to be an English teacher? Oh, yes, maybe. That could be. I love to learn and I love to teach to a person. It's like to give my knowledge that I have acquired by my own effort and give it to other persons. How long have you been studying English? I don't know. I remember that I have occurred when I have when I was 12 years old and then I stopped it uh, and I start to learn it again in the university last year, I guess. Nice, nice. Okay. All right. Well, welcome. You're at the right place to learn English. Excellent. Thank you, Rigoberto. Nice to have you. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, let's continue, Enrique Hernandez. Hello, everyone. Hello. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I am presenting. Uh, I have a degree. My name is Omar Enrique Hernandez. I have a degree in tourism business administration in especially in, in logistics. I graduate in Francisco Gaviria University. Uh, I am 25 years old. Uh, I live with my parents and my brother. Uh, I work in a call center for a low cost airline, and uh, the airline is Frontier. Nice. My job, my, my job position is called first shopper, and mm -hmm. basically it's to make a, a, a market research of the first offer uh, by the company airline and factory mm -hmm. into a, to a, to a, data, to a database. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been in this position for approximately eight months. Mm -hmm. uh, I am here. I am here because I would like to, to improve my pronunciation, reasoning, mm -hmm. uh, speaking. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And how long have you been studying English? Approximately three, three years ago. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Welcome. Welcome. Is this your first time learning online or have you learned online before? This is my first time. Okay. Well, nice to have you. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue with Marvin Calix. Hello, everyone. Hey. Uh, my name is Marvin Calix. I am, I live in Santa Ana City, exactly in Candelaria La Frontera, near to Guatemala. Um, I am a principal in a integral development center. Mm -hmm. We work with teenagers and children. Mm -hmm. We try to develop the in, in her spiritual mm -hmm. and also emotionally physically mm -hmm. and cognitive we we try to improve the children's to grow in in the right way mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, i 
I am here for third time. Okay. Uh, trying to try, trying to improve my English because mm -hmm. I love these uh, these languages mm -hmm. and I I hope to learn a lot and this time. Awesome, awesome. Well, it's nice to have you. And how long have you been working uh, with young people to develop their spiritual, uh, emotional, and physical uh, cognitive uh, abilities? How long have you been working in this environment? I have, I have been working uh, for almost 20 years. Wow, nice, nice. It sounds like it's a very good profession. You have the ability to help a lot of young people. That's a big, that's a big yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I like that. Thank you, Marvin. Nice to meet you, Marvin. Nice to meet you too. Uh, hello, Byron Lasso. Welcome. Uh, well, my name is Byron. And also, I work in a call center. I'm currently a supervisor for the English department. Oh, and nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> for one link. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'm working with one link. Uh, I have been with the account around, well, on June. I'm going to be getting for two years with them. Okay. But okay. maybe around... Two years ago, or maybe one year ago, I was working with them for around three years. Okay, then okay. The account leave the call center, so that's why we changed for another department, another accounts as well. Okay. And the reason that what I'm here, one of them is because I really like English, mm -hmm. and the other is because I, I really know that I need to improve some things on my vocabulary or so for my grammar. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can find out for some others. But mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the top reasons that I'm here and mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> welcome, yeah. welcome. Maybe we can help our friend Juan Jose. He says that he wants to work in a call center. Juan Jose? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello, Juan Jose? My daughter, my daughter, my youngest daughter uh, work in a call center. Oh, okay. Oh. No, sorry. It wasn't you. It was Sergio. <laughs> no, I am working at university. Yeah, no, no, no. It wasn't you. Sorry. It was somebody else uh, who said that they are studying English in the university and they want to work in the call center. I'm not sure. Ah, somebody just said it right now. Yeah. They said, I am working in, I, I am studying in the university as an English teacher and I want to work in the call center. Yeah. Who was that? I think, I think Enrique. it's Rigoberto. Who? Enrique. Enrique. Enrique, Rigoberto? <laughs> well, tell, text me in WhatsApp. <laughs> Hello? Okay, <Byron>. Hello? <laughs> Uh, did, you mention, did you mention my name? Did you say that you're working in the that you are in the university to be an English teacher and you want to work in a call center? Uh, I said that I was learning. I'm learning English actually, but I would like to work in a call center. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. So Rigoberto, all right, Rigoberto. Like. So you have a partner, uh, Byron. He's a supervisor in One Link call center. So hey. You just met somebody that can help you. <laughs> yes, I agree. Oh, I don't yeah. know. It's a good idea for Ma making connections, over. making connections. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. what it's about. I, I, I like, but I know my English level is enough. Okay. Okay. We are asking just for 7.5. <laughs> 7. Okay. 7.5. Okay. That's a good number. All right, welcome, welcome, Byron. Nice to have you. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. Okay, let's continue with uh, Enrique Hernandez. Did you already speak? Yes. Yes, okay. Ana Godinez. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Go ahead, introduce nice yourself. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Go ahead, introduce yourself to the class, please. 
Okay, I'm Ana Godinez. I work in a TV channel. Mm -hmm. I, in a human resources department. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a degree in business administration and what else? Um, I live with my, my parents and my sister mm -hmm. and I love the English. All and right. I, yes, I love it, but I think that I, I don't have the opportunity of a uh, practice very much, but mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, I always try to practice. Mm -hmm. I like watching the movies with subtitles in English. Mm -hmm. I try to listen music, and I I think that I understand very much. But my my pronunciation, my conversation, uh, uh, I think that I need better. Okay, you need to improve it. Improve. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome. How long have you been working in the TV channel? Uh, since six years ago. Oh, okay. Okay. And yes. do you enjoy your job? Yes. It's an uh, interesting job because uh, all the relative with the personnel, with, with the human resources is very uh, busy. This is a busy, busy work. I imagine. I imagine. Yes, okay. Yes. Well, welcome. In, welcome. In a pay in the day pay. Ah. Mostly. <laughs> oh, okay. That's yes. the that's the good part. <laughs> yes, it's the good part. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, well, I imagine that in the television industry you meet a lot of English speaking people. Yes. Yes. That's it's good. Very... That's yes. good. That's good. Well, welcome. Nice to have you. Nice to meet you, Anna. Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Let's continue with Doris Aime. Hi, guys. My name is Aime Torres. I am from San Salvador, but I live in Quesaltepeque, La Libertad, with my family, with my mom, my brother, my sister-in-law, and my nephew. I am business administration. Mm -hmm. And I work as business at, administrator. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I work at Texas. Mm -hmm. This is a textile Textiles. industry. Textile. Textile industry. Mm -hmm. I am payroll analyst. Okay. Mm -hmm. The money. I love the money, money, money. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the English, but I need to practice more the speaking and, I, and listening. Okay, okay. Well, welcome. Nice to have you. And how long have you been working in the textile industry? In one year. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, and how long have you been studying English? Since 2010. Oh, long time, about 10 years, 12 years, okay. In the college. <laughs> okay, well, welcome. Nice to meet Thank you, Doris. Nice to meet you too. Let's move forward with Maritza Argueta. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, my name is Maritza Argueta. I work for Ministerio de Hacienda as Sergio. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. And I'm here because I would like to prove my English. I have studied English a long time ago mm -hmm. and I um, remember mm -hmm. uh, many, many things. Mm -hmm. I, have, I, ha I, I have two daughters mm -hmm. and I live in Santa Tecla. Okay, awesome, awesome. And how long have you been working with the government? For a long, long time, almost 25 years. Okay, all right. And um, in your profession, do you speak a lot with English people, with people that speak English? No, we only speak in Spanish, but we we have to uh, read many documents in English. Mm -hmm. And I would like to improve my English too, because I would like to have an, a better job. Okay, more money, more English, more money. Yes, that's the idea. <laughs> okay, well, welcome, welcome, Maritza. Thank you, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
Let's move forward and we're going to be talking with Ivania Romero. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Uh, my name is Ivania Romero. I am 28 years old. I work in Ministerio de Hacienda, like uh, Sergio and Maritza. Um, I work in a budget department and I am a technical assistant. Um, I live in San Salvador. I live alone. Um, my family lives in, live in Morazan in another department outside of the capital. And um, the, I live alone because the, the last year I bought my own house. Wow, so oh, I, congratulations. I yeah, it's, it's so at, cool. Uh, yeah, it's one of, of my goals to 2021 mm -hmm. yeah and i like english and i like to well i i want to learn i want to can I speak with with um with person that I, that is speaking english and my i part of my family lives in in United States so okay. I I want to to improve my English for for speaking with my family excellent excellent yeah. uh, what part of the United States does your family live at uh, my mom lives in Washington DC oh, okay okay DC by Maryland yeah, Maryland. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, nice to have you, Ivania. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, teacher. Let's continue with Marcela Aguilar. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Okay. My name is Marcel Aguilar, but you can call me Marce. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to stay here again. I am 20 years old and I don't work. Mm -hmm. I finished my high school two years ago. Mm -hmm. And actually, I learned about bakery because I love baking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like English too. All right. And what is your favorite uh, dessert to bake? Maybe Alexander can give you a job. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My favorite dessert is... Uh, cake vanilla mm -hmm. cake oh okay okay well alexander you have a baker yes i need to yeah <laughs> and she okay. doesn't she doesn't work so there you go Perfect. another yes. connection <laughs> <laughs> yes of course thank you marcella nice to meet you do you like english marcella Yes, I like it. How long have you been studying English? Oh, um, three years ago. I, I don't remember the uh, time exactly, but I think that so so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, welcome, Marcela. Welcome. welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to the class. Um, did everybody introduce themselves? Did I forget anybody? Did I forget anybody? Everybody spoke? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, I excellent. Think, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yes, thank you, I Roxana. Think, I think, yes, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank you, Alex. Okay, guys, uh, what I would like for us to do right now is go over a couple of the functions on the application. Zoom. 
Okay, for example, everybody knows how to raise your hand. Do you see the raise the hand? Yes. yes sir. Okay, I want everybody to raise your hand right now on the application. Good Maritza, good Ivania, good Zulma, good Katya, good Marvin, good Roxana, good Enrique, good Marcela, good Byron, good Anna, good Rigoberto, good Mirna, good Doris, good Alexander, good Juan Jose. Uh, Sergio Eduardo, raise your hand, please. Sergio Eduardo, raise your hand, please. Okay, everybody lower your hand. Sergio Eduardo, can you hear me? Okay, maybe he has a uh, internet problem. Um, so when you have a question guys and we are, okay, you can, down, you can lower your hand guys. Ana, Rigo, you can lower your hands. Doris, lower your hands. Juan Jose, lower your hands. When we are in the class and you guys want to participate or you want to say something or you want to ask a question, good job, Juan Jose. You can raise your hand like that and then I will see that you want to participate, okay? So like that, we, okay. have, we, have, we don't have a lot of people talking at the same time, uh, which is very important so that we don't disturb the other students. Um, another thing that I want to make sure that you know how to do is share the screen. Share the screen. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Teacher. Okay. yes. okay, so everybody can see my yes. screen. Um, I would like for Byron, share your screen. The thing is that just give me one second. <laughs> I'm on the uh, computer of my job. <laughs> okay, that's mine. cool. Okay, that's cool. Just I just want to make second. sure that you can do it. Alexander, can you share your screen? Uh, can you see my screen? All right, Byron Lasso. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Alexander, can you share your screen? Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, okay. Go ahead, stop sharing. Uh, okay. Let me have Katya, can you share your screen? Okay, Katya has, okay, there it is. Good job, good job. Yes, we can see your screen, uh, Katya. Thank you. Thank you, Katya. Uh, Zulma, can you share your screen? I can uh, because I, I'm um, on my cell phone and I think I don't have this option. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Ivania Romero, can you share your screen? Okay, maybe Ivania has problems with the computer. Marvin Calix, can you share your screen? I don't know to share if I can. I I am in the cell phone. I don't okay. know. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Marvin Calix. Excellent, excellent, Marvin Calix. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Uh, let me have Juan Jose. Can you share your screen? You see? Mm, no. Okay. <clears throat> there you go, Juan Jose. Good job. There you okay. go. Thank you, Juan Jose. Oh my God, what is that? What language is my, that? My class for oh. math. <laughs> <laughs> Lord God. <laughs> that looks okay. difficult. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Sergio Eduardo, can you share your screen? Oh, okay, teacher. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm.
Excellent. Excellent work. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Let me have uh, Mirna Barahona. Can you share your screen? Thank you, Mirna. Very good. There it is. Excellent. Good job. Let me have Roxana Mendoza. Can you share your screen? Okay, teacher, it's my first time. I will try. Please mm -hmm. support on compartir pantalla. Correct, yes. correct. It's, can you see? Not, um, no, not yet. Uh, now? There it is, there it is. Roxana Valladares. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Rigoberto Argueta, can you share your screen? Yes, uh, teacher, give me a moment. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, good job, good job. Thank you. Let me have Enrique Hernandez. Can you share your screen? Thank you, Enrique Hernandez. Good work, excellent, excellent. Thank you. Let me have Ana Godinez. Can you share your screen? Uh, I can, teacher. I'm uh, in my cell phone. Okay. All right. Uh, Doris Aime, can you share your screen? Very good. Very good. Thank you. Doris Aime, thank you. Uh, let me have Maritza Argueta. Can you share your screen? Maritza Argueta, can you share your screen? Yes, teacher, I'm trying because I understand in the cell phone, but I want to try if if I can share uh, yes. the screen. Yes, there is a, it says compartir pantalla on the cell phone. I it's am a, trying, you just a, tell me if you see. Okay, it's a green button. It, okay. it should be a green button that says compartir pantalla on the yes. cell phone. But it's a menu and they say aparecer en ti. <laughs> I oh. don't know where I am. Okay. Uh, Be careful with I your selfies. Have... <laughs> 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 Sergio. <laughs> okay, we'll do that later. Thank you, Maritza. Yes, I'll speak later. Okay, Marcela Aguilar, can you share your screen? Marcela? Okay. Well, the reason why, there it is, Marcela Aguilar. Thank you. Thank you, Marcela. Excellent. Um, the reason why I want to make sure that you can share the screen with the class is because sometimes you are going to work in pairs. So when you are working in pairs, obviously you're going to share your screen. Maybe you're going to share a video. Maybe you're going to share questions. Maybe you are going to share exercises, but it's very important that you can share your screen. My recommendation for the students that are work. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you, Maritza. Excellent. Excellent, Maritza. Thank you. My recommendation for the students that are working on the cell phone is to maybe work in a laptop so that you can have Zoom and the application open at the same time if you can, but if you cannot, that's okay. You can work on your cell phone, okay? Any questions at this moment? <laughs> I just want to ask if I stop uh, sharing my, my screen. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Ah, now, now you. Mr. Santos is going to share the screen. Can everybody see my screen? 
Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yes. we, are, we are going to be working from section one, life's little lessons, intro video, section one. Everybody, please listen to the video. For about to begin a new course, we want you to keep on learning. So stay and watch the first intro video we have for you. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the field, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night.
<laughs> oh my god okay all right so what we're going to do with this uh, video is here at the bottom in the discussion part i want you to you're going to click where it says añade una publicación And you're going to go where it says titulo. You're going to say story. And where it says tu pregunta o idea, you're going to write a story. It can be a true story or an invented story, a fake story. You decide, right? For example, when I was, when I was a young man, I saw a mermaid at Galveston Beach. <laughs> I fell in love no. <laughs> at first sight. Okay, so you invent the story or you can create a true story. And then you're going to say enviar. Any questions? No, no. It's okay. okay. All right. So that's going to be your homework. Okay, guys, it's almost time for us to get out of here. It's been a pleasure uh, speaking with you. So please remember to work. You can work the activities on the platform. There is no limit to the activities that you can complete on the platform. If you have extra time, you can work as many activities as you want on the platform. There is no limit. Any questions? No. Oh. Thank you. All right, guys, no. see Teacher. you tomorrow. Yes, Roxana? No, no, no question. Oh, oh, okay. No questions, thanks. Okay, see you tomorrow. We, we don't have class. Tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow no. we have class, but, but next week we have class normal, Monday to Thursday. Ah, okay. Uh, only tomorrow we have class. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. All right, Bye. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 See you. Bye.